Let's start with uh, some uh, basic information about uh, all the exam, about the certification uh, itself as Snowflake. So first of all, they are called Snowpro, yeah, Snowflake Professional Certifications, if you want to. And uh, we have the core certification, which is uh, fundamentals uh, and the prerequisite, basically, for any other advanced certifications that uh, you can see around here. Architect, data engineer, data analyst, data scientist, and administrator. And uh, yeah, I was telling you I passed all of them uh, except for the administrator. So far, I didn't go for it, and I passed them all from the first uh, trial. Uh, the Snow Pro certification overview. Okay, I was telling you, let's see, on top, we have one Snow Pro core certification, foundational and prerequisite for all the others. If you go for, for the first time yeah, into such an exam, you'll have uh, 100 questions uh, in around uh, two hours for uh, 175 US dollars. And the passing score is around 75%. Uh, All the exams, they uh, last for two years. After two years, uh, you can, uh, while the certification is still valid, uh, you can still go for uh, 60 questions this time. Uh, one and a half hours for 88 uh, US dollars to recertify. Yeah, but just remember, you see here, auto renewing an advanced certification. Yeah, we'll talk about this uh, right away. Uh, will automatically trigger a renewal also of the Snow Pro certification for other two years. So you don't have to pass it again if you pass a. Uh, an advanced certification. This, this is what I did. Yeah, basically I passed just once long ago the Snow Pro Core, and then I passed just the advanced certification. So uh, I was saying we have uh, five Snow Pro advanced certifications: architect, data engineer, data analyst, data scientist, administrator. Yeah, uh, sixty-five questions each, in also around two hours. 375 US dollars, the same 75% uh, passing score, so around 75%, okay, it's adjusted. And uh, to renew this, also after two years, uh, you can go for uh, 40 questions in about uh, one and a half hours, yeah, just like before for Snow Pro Core, 188 US dollars, so it's always a half, yeah, to renew, uh, to recertify, and uh, yeah, as you can see here, just uh, personal impressions, uh, they are expensive, okay? Let's see, I will start with this, uh, basically. What I did personally, I uh, worked for a Snowflake partner, yeah, uh, actually for two different Snowflake partners. I've been full-time employed by them, and uh, they usually get free vouchers, yeah, as a Snowflake partner, and they distribute these free vouchers. So I had people going to, to fail, yeah, sometimes the first time as a certification just to see how it is, but uh, that's uh, one way uh, when you can get some uh, free vouchers. Uh, as a Snow Pro SME, yeah, I was telling you I've been part of this program, and uh, you may get, uh, it depends right now, one free voucher per exam you help with. And uh, as a data superhero, unfortunately, the last time I've been there, you know, uh, I discussed with them, but uh, they were giving us vouchers at half price, and uh, I wasn't very happy with this. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, generally speaking, the exams are a uh, fast pace, yeah, because there are many questions. One hundred for a uh, Snow Pro uh, Core, uh, sixty-five, but much harder as you can uh, expect for advanced. Uh, some of them are uh, with code uh, or uh, images, yeah. The, there could be large sequences of code. I don't want to scare you, but uh, especially for advanced, for advanced you have to prepare. Uh, there are no tricky questions, yes, and all are positive. And you have a similar number of uh, choices and selections. So these are multi-choice, multi-select questions. Yeah? Just remember this. You, you don't have other kind of uh, questions. So uh, it's relatively easy. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Uh, you can uh, answer my, my advice to you. Let, let's say you, you're unsure on some questions. My advice to you and uh, of all the people I know is to still answer. Find the best answer you can at that moment and to flag. To mark basically the question, uh, you review uh, only once at the end all of them because usually don't, you don't have enough time. Uh, you may have another approach. Yeah, definitely, it's up to you. This is my just my honest advice. This is what I do. Uh, all the exams today, at least, are with uh, Pearson, so I pass them all uh, online. Yeah, so never in a uh, in a center or a different location. 
uh, you'll find a pass failed uh, result uh, right away. And uh, usually the score, the actual score uh, came uh, the next day or just in a few hours, sometimes uh, through email. You will receive a badge that uh, today is on Credly, and uh, they still uh, keep uh, different information diploma on uh, Credible. Yeah, this, this could change in time. Yeah, you'll see. 